Masterclass with Charlotte Margiono today, and then an interview with her afterwards. Everyone sitting here is, of course, very much invited to stay for the whole Masterclass. They can find an extended biography on Charlotte Margiono on page six in the program book. Charlotte is here to share some of her extended knowledge, as the big Elisabeth Schwarzkopf once did with her in a Masterclass setting when she just started off. Uh, this masterclass is one of the things that then kicked off her extended and beautiful, long, healthy career. Today, there's four singers of the IVC 2022 selected to work with her, each about 30 minutes with half an hour break in between the first candidates. I would like to ask all of you, first of all, to turn off your phones and um, wish you a lot of fun. The first two candidates are Sang A Jun and Jan Wouters, countertenor from Belgium. Sang A is a soprano from South Korea. And the whole masterclass today will be accompanied by Ian Tindell. Enjoy. Okay. <laughs> Good. Sangha, which piece would you like to start with? Uh, I would like to sing Chantun first. Okay. Yeah. It's good.
this because uh, when we are going to the Pamina, I would like you to be much more in this beautiful sound in Strauss in that area also <coughs> and not let yourself be intimidated by, by this is Mozart and now I have to take my other voice out of the closet or something like that, you know, but that's for later. <coughs> I think that Strauss um, is all about colors and although you do really some beautiful moments of changing character and that stuff, I think that in your voice it could be probably a little bit more differentiation, especially when these moments of, of uh, uh, Umhaucht von der Gottheit, when these specific moments come. And I think it has also to do with uh, the ways that the, the German language and therefore also the, the, the consonants, of course they are terrible. <laughs> I know. I know. I mean, and for me, it's German probably much easier than for you. If I had to s sing something in South Korean, I would also be studying my ass off to get it. But still, I have the feeling that you are a little bit blocked. Not always, but when there are a lot. So if you, for instance, um, Da niemand tröstet mildes mundes die kampfmüde Seele. I mean, that is really <laughs> terrible. Could you do that, and just for fun, only on the vowels? So then you get only the vowels. Yeah, in the in the right keys. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so especially so. Go in the thought sound. Now you have the chance because the consonants are, uh, for a moment they're not here. Try again. Big breath. I also, I know it's piano, but you have to work long. Yeah. Okay, could you do it? I know this is really something. Uh, I know that you all are a little bit invited to uh, enter the kitchen of, of singing, singing, and I hope you will be uh, not shocked, but could you do it with two fingers in your... <laughs> I... <gasps> okay, so, so the E is sang by the, by the tongue, not with the, with the jaw. Mm. You were already going on the right way, and then you stopped a little bit. Let it happen. The tongue has to move. Mm -hmm. Once again. <sighs> yeah, okay, yeah, the low tones are difficult. Now do it with the consonants. But remember this, this kind of, I always say to Dutch uh, students, the, 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 the voice sometimes has to sound like a Hema worst. You don't know what that is, of <laughs> course. <laughs> that is a sausage which you can buy in a, in a, in a, in a kind of store which sells everything, clothes, uh, perfume, and it, it is, it's, yeah, I don't love it, but I'm, I mean actually the shape of, of, this, of this sausage never changes, especially with Strauss. So try with, with the consonants, don't eat it. Yes. Okay, and now, now you have much more relaxation. Now I would like you to have a little bit more activity on the consonants. Is that possible? Yeah. Try. Da niemand tröstet mildes mundes. You have to do them. Hang, hang your voice on it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Die Kampfmüde See, Kampfmüde, very active. Much better. You were smiling. It's yeah, because I know if you do too much consonants, then the voice gets back. If you do too much voice, then the consonants get back. So we always have to, to, to tackle that. And for me, I am in love with my consonants. Consonants being well treated are the are the the what is in God's name a knijper in it Engels. Uh, if you have if you have laundry on your line, you have you have these these th cl clamps, yeah, and th that's the consonant. They hold up your your vo your vocal line, and especially when your voice gets older, then if uh, if I still do some singing, I have to work very hard to still keep them in because they are my saviors. You can't avoid them. If you are having the good way of combination, then you, your legato comes better, the voice gets more in front, it is much more understandable. You get a lot back if you tackle that. And I have the feeling that that is something for you to, to work on for the, the coming time. Because now you did it uh, with more knowledge and, and it was much more brighter, the voice. So try the whole song again, and without overdoing it, try to see if you can have this combination of space, but also more tickles from consonants. Yeah? yeah? it better. I hear more your natural voice and you have to sing it with your voice. You cannot make it uh, bigger or, or, or darker. It's just what it is. If you sing, uh, wenn du es wüsstest, was bangen heißt, <coughs> what I also would like you to consider more, what I heard before also in the, in the, in the other rounds, is that you have a very uh, good knowledge about what you sing. I can see that on your face, I can hear it. But what I miss is the word expression. Mm -hmm. It's really clever for all singers to, to pop in, especially you, you can uh, think about that or you do it by accident, but some words give you a, a possibility to, to give more information about it. When you sing the same uh, melody when du es wüsstest, was bangen heißt. No, you can really, was bangen heißt, my God, when you, was, when you would know. And that's all, always, over, also in Mozart or in Wagner, whatever you sing, word expression. So that would for me be a, a, a possibility to show that you really know what, what it is about. Shall we start um, in the fourth bar for you, Ian? One bar before your entrance. Yeah. Yeah, when du es wüsstest. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. The, the Now you get more colors, more... Okay, the, the third important th uh, thing for me, especially for Strauss, the long notes. There are always long notes in Strauss. Even in 
quick songs, he has moments of one, two, three, four, da, da, whatever. Try to approach them as a, as a, as a, as a, a thing that has a life, not like um, this, this third time when it was Wüstest, was led. Just put it in and sing it. No. Try to give it a beginning. Mm -hmm. Probably go very light, start with less vibrato, and then wobble it in a little bit. If they are even longer, which is not the case here, but for instance in other songs, like Feld Einsam, uh, no, um, Wald Einsamkeit. The, I think it's the longest note ever written by Strauss. Ten, ten, bar, uh, ten beats or something. I mean, you have to give them a life. Yeah. Let's try it. Um, Ian, do the fortissimo uh, bar. You know where we are? The third one. <laughs> I don't have bars here, so this, the third time uh, when was Wüstest, when you go up to the G. I think we might, yes. Yeah, Sorry. it's okay. <laughs> yes, and you can also... I can't sing it any more high, but during this G, you can eat it up. You start a little bit and to make it warm and big and rich, give a little bit more space in your jaw. Your jaw is a little bit mafia. <laughs> I always have the feeling the tongue and the jaw, they are both from mafia, but together they are really terrible. But that's not the case with you. But try if you can do it, it was much better. It's the same spot again. Yep, yep. Good. Long note, yeah, long notes wants to be alive, not just a balloon that comes, goes up. And goodbye. Okay. Stay with it. Much better. It, you can have much more consonants without being uh, less vo uh, vocal. It's, it's wonderful. So you just have to be... I'm not saying that you are lazy, but don't forget about them. Um, this was for me enough now, for this... We, we have so short time. We have 10 minutes. I would say... I want you to give you the chance to give to sing the Pamina for us. Is that a good idea? Yes, of course. Okay, okay. <laughs> good. Yeah, this is a little bit silly, but that's how it goes. <sighs> and now don't do Mozart. Don't do, don't do that. Don't just make the same music. Because the voice is the same. Yeah. The style is probably different, but that's something else. You're not going to the shop and buy a Mozart voice. do <coughs> always in concert in auditioning or on stage just do the first what you did now the first uh, three bars uh, four bars do them very strict wam bam ah ich fühl's es ist verschwunden da very strict the conductor feels good, 
I mean, a pianist can follow much more, but then everything comes in ease, and you have so many moments more to get a little bit more out of the of the of the schedule, a little bit more in. But in the beginning, be like be like a <coughs> a motor, yeah. without being not musical, of course. <laughs> Try if you can see if we can do that. Does it feel very unnatural, or is it actually not bad? Very natural and good for me. Okay. There are some arias who have this kind of uh, creepy starting. Um, for me also, Elsa Straum, Einsam in trüben Tagen. It's terrifying. It's suddenly everything is gone. The orchestra is gone. You have to start. Same trick. Just do your ding. And then later on, it comes by itself. If you go to the from G to B flat, be be quicker in your approaching. You just climb. But if you sing G oh, on the G, think already on the B flat. Yeah. Uh, can you start on A V G? It's a little bit high, but you you can do it. I'm right. yeah. <laughs> So now this is very important. Now the whole voice came to the B flat. You didn't hear the mechanical thing happening and it bloomed and it was rich. And that's what I meant with sing normal. Okay, go on. <laughs> Okay, this is for me a sentence. If you sing this, try to relax. Mm. Especially on Nima. Nima. Yeah, relax on that voice. Let the breath only take over. Start there. Good. Legato, can you try that? Okay. Not with your kin, uh, chin. <laughs> yeah, and now in tempo. So this is much nicer. And it's much, what I said about Mozart, it's the beginning of bel canto. Don't forget that. Especially when you do this kind of ornaments. Yeah, you don't, but you don't have to do it immediately because I know that's, that's tricky. If you never did it before like that, it's something totally different. But try if you can do it in tempo. Yeah, the, there she comes. <laughs> Disappear in in singing coloraturas. This is this is emotional coloratura. It's not an ornament or just like in bel canto. Sometimes that it is a, a really a style thing. In in Mozart, it it occurs and it should always be with 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 emotion from the from the from the, what you're doing. And now I feel a moment. Th this is starting well, and then you go into technique, and then you go out. So let's try it again. Ah, same spot, it was much better, the legato. Brr. 
brava, brava. Yes. Good. Now it was really what we want. And then I get always goose pimples when I hear that a singer combines it. It's suddenly, and then it's there. And nobody can do anything about it anymore. Not positive, not negative. It's your ding. I think we should stop. This is a beautiful moment of stopping. And thank you very much for your being so open and so trying. Thank you. You have just enjoyed a part of the masterclass of Charlotte Marjono. I was fortunate to talk to this beautiful, wonderfully kind, world-famous Dutch soprano for a little interview. I'm sitting here with Charlotte Mahiono, Dutch soprano. I'm very happy to have a little chat with you before she goes back in the hall listening to other, other, all the other candidates. Charlotte, we were just saying to each other how it's tricky to create a repertoire list that fits your personality at a young age. That how can you be sure this list is everything you have to show at that time? I think you can never be sure because uh, taste is also very involved with all the people who are sitting in the jury. And um, the people in the jury have different ways of listening and looking at the candidates. Yeah. And me personally, I am searching for a singer who probably takes some risks in, 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 the, in the repertoire. Uh, for instance, uh, less inter interesting music is difficult to, to, to stay on a kind of uh, level that it is still interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm also... Listening is the, the combination of voice and the importance of the words. Can I understand the person? Is there a kind of expression in specific words, which mm. is not always the case? Mm. Like like singing songs, you should actually that uh, that that is very uh, connected with opera. Also, mm -hmm. it's it's actually always the same. It's just how to to develop your sound to sing in bigger bigger holes. But for me, it, everything is the same: mm. opera, concert, oratorium. Yeah, and. A very normal basic feeling is do I want to hear and see this person again yes sometimes I don't even know why sometimes it just yeah. touches you somehow. yes it, if it touches or if I find myself in a smile which can happen then yeah watch okay come on do the second round then yeah. let he, let me hear more of you yeah because you you are in touch with a lot of young young emerging uh, people you teach yes. at the conservatory of utrecht and amsterdam if i believe and yes and uh, that's probably the main interesting thing is the international opera academy in ghent in ghent also okay Gaal. yeah okay because that is actually this this people uh, this is between 25 and 34 the the, the same category Cate category? Mm -hmm. category, category, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Perfect. category, and they are doing a kind of uh, post uh, master degree yeah. in opera, yeah. special only opera. Right. So, so that gives me a lot of, uh, yeah, staying in, in touch with what is what is going on and and how are things going, but of course 
we also had two years of COVID. Of course, of course. So it's even better to now yeah. hear yeah. lots of young people here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you, of course, made music your whole life. You've had an amazing, very, very big career. And you're still playing the viola, if I'm correct. Is it beautiful? Is it necessary for you to keep in touch with music that way? Absolutely, because uh, voices, anyhow, we cannot sustain them until uh, piano people playing in 85 or something. Yeah. I mean, that's that's not possible. Yeah. And uh, to keep in touch with making music, you you, you said it yourself. Yeah, I, I like to play a uh, string quartet mm -hmm. with good friends, nice talks, good wine, and a lot of fine music. Nice. <laughs> uh, but I'm also still connected in uh, doing some uh, combination of old and very young music. Uh, I'm a member of a, a group with four uh, musicians and uh, we making a kind of um, historical pop music mm -hmm. and that's music from thousand years f from now to to going back mm -hmm. and in all the all this specific uh, time scheduling we are trying to pick pop pop popular songs mm -hmm. so it can be something from the midi eve it can it can also be something from paul mccartney or, or yeah yeah that's and that's wonderful to do and it's a real serious uh, business we have concerts and we we have mainly fun but it, it it starts to get more and more serious great <laughs> that's beautiful you stay in touch with that yeah. part of yourself yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah beautiful and the freedom it's very free to yeah. do what you like i sing oh, yeah. a song uh, of tchaikovsky and the, co the combination is a bass <coughs> mm -hmm. a guitar a bass recorder okay flute, and me singing the song amazing that's a total difference Ding. Different than you ever done before, yes, probably. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So always staying new and fresh. Yes. Yeah. Maybe you can say something a little, a little short thing about master classes. What it's, what you can pick from master classes. You've once done a very famous one with Elizabeth Schwarzkopf. Yeah. I think it kicked something uh, off for you. Is it good to do that? Um, it kicked only off that uh, Holland suddenly knew about me because I'm Dutch, of course. Yeah. And it was on television, and it was not so normal in those days that it was broadcasted. I think personally, whatever you do with young singers, try to make them more happy at the end of whatever session than at the beginning. Or they get some wisdom about singing, or about humanity, or about themselves. Yeah. And I, it's my task to. to to try to get as quick as possible the blueprint of a voice. And that's really harsh. It's really hard. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's difficult, it doesn't work always, but you have to have an open mind and then you have to decide, okay, I have 10, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and what can I do? That is the main important lesson in my opinion. That's all. But make them leave happier than they came yes, in is yes that's that's a big task beautiful wisdom i hope that i can succeed again i'm sure you will okay thank you charlotte you too thank you <laughs> thank you for watching tonight at eight o'clock you can see some impressions of veselina kasarova's masterclass. but of course you're also invited to come and see it live in the vercada fabrique you can find tickets on the website of ivc ivc.nu Thank you.